let's see if we need a listener dot ora file when we want to start a listener so let me go to the oracle home network admin directory currently i have a listener dot ora file and it's configured on port 1521 if i want to run the listener on 1521 i don't really need a listener dot ora let me demonstrate that here okay i don't have a listener running i remove my listener dot ora file and i try to start the listener So the listener starts up on port one five two one, which is the default. Currently, it supports no services because it is not yet aware of the database instance. If I wait a few minutes, the database instance will automatically register with the listener because it finds the listener is running. But I can forcefully register the database instance with the listener with an auto system register command. Go back to the listener. and as for the services and here it shows okay now it is aware of service over cl that is a database instance i don't have a listener dot ora but i still have a listener running on 1521 and the database is registered with the listener can i recreate the listener dot ora if i want to yes i can use net ca Let's see the GUI tool to configure listener and TNS files. So the default name for the listener is always listener. Protocol TCP. Use the standard port one five two one. Okay, there is already a listener running, so let me shut it down. Okay, so I have shut it down. I will con continue configuration. Okay, it's configured. I, you can see a message here coming up. There, the listener configuration has been done. Finish. And now there's a new listener dot ora file. It has also updated the TNS ora and SQL net dot ora for for me. So the listener has been created with the name listener, port one five two one. If I want to create another listener, it's not necessary to create another listener. Oracle always recommends using one five two one and the single listener. But if you really want to, or if you want to explore the feasibility, you can go on add a new listener. Let's call it listener two. TCP TCP protocol. Port one five two two. and yes and it allows me to start the listener also here so if i do a ps minus ef i can see listener 2 is been started up and if i look at the listener dot ora file it has been updated again now there is a listener 2 on port 1522 while the default listener is on 1521 But if I want to register the database instance with this non-default port one five two two, I would have to add a parameter called local listener in the database parameter file, and restart the database instance with that parameter, and then register the database instance with an alter system register. Normally, you don't need a non-default port. You always need only one five two one and only one listener, irrespective of the number of databases you are running on the server.